Hi guys, welcome to Homegrown Herbs. Today is a day I actually never thought would happen. Uh, this girl I've been waiting on for literally months to lay. She just kept throwing me stupid amounts of crazy signs. So I kept thinking one minute she was ovulated. One minute I thought she had a pre-lay shared. One minute I thought she was building again. Then she was back on heat, then she was back on food, then she was locking again. And I basically just kept going round and round with her and she just, she confused the crap out of me. It's the first girl I've had that I could never read her properly. Um, and I think she'll be a learning curve in the future. But I had a message while I was at work um, by my son, uh, who, to be fair, the kids and the missus are really good with the snakes helping me out. Um, they do a lot of stuff while they're in and about. so. The lad happened to pop into there and just stick his head through the tubs. While he was sticking his head in the tubs, he heard a massive hiss, um, which obviously came from Esmeralda's tub. So he pulled her open gently, took the photo and sent me some exciting news. Um, before I go and pull this girl, um, she, my goal with this clutch was that she's a pastel gargoyle, so a cinnamon het red exantic, het red exantic pastel. I paired her to a champagne pastel entry orange ghost. Now, my only real goal there was to see a champagne gargoyle. To me, it is just an outstanding version of a pied without a pied. Hi, little man. Um, anything else on top of that, that it will all be het orange ghost is obviously just a bonus for me. Um, any other jeans that are slapped on top are just another level for me but if that is my ultimate goal i have a one in 64 um outcome so idea them could be interesting but we'll we'll see how we go with that i have also got the interesting point of taking her from the eggs now um the guy i brought her off which was ross mcgee um when i first brought her he told me at the time she was a bit of a cow um and she was very food responsive and she was also sometimes very tub defensive to be fair with me she has i can say she has been very food responsive um she went through these modes while she was going on and off that we weren't sure whether she was due to lay or not because she kept going on food constantly um, and she's ferocious in the way she goes on food it's just outstanding how she goes through she lunges from the tub hangs out the tub and all sorts of crazy stuff sometimes she even hits the tub before you've even opened it um, but I've never had her out show any aggression towards me or any of us um, here at Homegrown Herbs to be fair she's been really good so fingers crossed taking the eggs is as uh, interesting um, I tend to use a um, pillowcase if I think they're going to be really bad just to put over them to calm them down a little bit before I take the eggs um, sometimes I can just sort of take their attention while I start to unwrap them but she's a really big girl as you'll see in the video when I start to unwrap her she's quite long um, and she is a big heavy girl I think she's about four kilo at the minute and um, so yes yeah, she's a big girl and um, so it could be interesting if I do get tagged it's gonna sting but I will leave I'm sure so without further ado we'll go to the eggs Okay guys, so as you can see, she's doing her normal mommy thing, which is curling up and protecting her pearly whites. So I'm just gonna go in, take my hand, very gently show her over this side, and underneath, yeah? And as you can see, now massive aggression showed. She's been a very good girl at the moment. That's a big clutch of eggs. Good girl, you've done me proud. Jesus Christ, so. Right, what do we have? Two, four, six, eight pearly whites. Nine, nine. <laughs> nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. nine. Okay, nine eggs, okay. So they all look absolutely perfect. Mom is... Definitely empty, nothing else in her. But as I said to you on the video, she is a very big girl. Um, she's definitely empty now anyway, so I should get her bathed, cleaned, tub out and I'm sure she'll be happy as Larry to have a good meal into her, so just a short one guys, um, hope you're all staying safe at this moment in time, obviously it's a bit of a strange time we're in at the moment, but uh, I'm sure 
we'll get to the end of it and everything will go back to what we love and enjoy and um, just enjoying family life and getting that normal world will be a blessing so uh, take care guys please stay safe and as always let's teach not preach ciao